Alright, we're going to go to our next question and it's going to be, does strict parenting really raise the best kids? The floor's open to whoever wants to go first. I would say, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rock, paper, oh. scissors. <laughs> well, she's, fine. she's fighting it. <laughs> you want rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, go. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. You're not even saying anything. Rock, paper, scissors. How to play. All right, oh, man. Samantha's nice. going. Hey. Samantha's going. Samantha. Okay, all good. Come on. Um, yeah, I was going to say strict parenting does not make, you know, better children. Like, from my perspective, I've grown up with like a strict household like being from an Asian background and I feel like it only creates more rebellious children like there's there's a foundation of you know of trust needed to like nurture a child and to be able to trust that child you know whether it's like going out coming back home you know them wanting to like pursue their dreams but I feel like if you're really strict on your child and you're like demanding always that child's going to resent you in one way or another growing up just from my experience like yeah so i feel were, like were you a rebellious child <laughs> <laughs> gentle. Yeah. gentle if you're not gonna do it gentle then i don't need your help <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but i feel like yeah my perspective i don't think strict my strict parenting works it might work for some people but i feel like it doesn't create better better children yeah. yeah i was gonna say it works only to like a certain ex extent um yeah because let's say like you give your kids like you know the freedom like you tell them what to do but like let's say in high school because you're around like friends and people like all you want to do is fit in and do those things do you know what i mean so yeah, I feel like to an extent it works, but sometimes it gets to the point where like they never grow up because they've just been told what to do all their lives. And I've seen it in examples of like some people I've, you know, um, worked with at work and it's like, you know, I'm not trying to say too much, but it's like, yeah. I can expose me if you want. <laughs> Um, no, I would say the same. Um, complete, complete strict, growing up in a complete strict um, household may not raise the best children, but also raising children in a completely loose, like free household can also raise kids that are very like irresponsible. Um, with me, my mom has always been strict. I also remember in high school, like there was a few times where kids would ask me to smoke. Nicorette, Nicorette, you can bring the cigarette. I personally never liked it, so I would say no. But I always had this feeling that my mum was literally behind me. Hold up. My mom's in there. Like, I'm like, no thank you. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't do anything because I always felt like my mum was behind me. Growing up, though, I feel like I grew up to be more rebellious. Even now, I feel like I'm more rebellious with the way I think and the way I talk, which is not a bad thing either, I guess. Because like, I speak up, I feel like I speak up for those that need to be spoken for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, you go okay. uh, yeah, I feel the same way. Like, I don't think there's one perfect way to raise a child but I feel like as you said before like if you make it too loose like of freedom then the kids you know are gonna just take advantage of and do whatever I feel like there needs to be a sense of both like putting um like if you're gonna let them go out late like you can give them that freedom to go out but like put a curfew on it so they know like if they're gonna overstep a boundary so you've got a bit of both. Consequences, yeah. Yeah, like like consequences for doing the wrong thing, but still giving them that that freedom to be able to do the things that they want. Yeah, yeah. And just allow them to make mistakes, I guess. Yeah. Like, that's how you grow up, anyway. Mm. 
Yeah, I was just going to say, like, um, I only believe in one thing, and that's the belt. Nah, Jake. Nah. <laughs> you know the vibe? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, I don't think um, the, the worst thing, like, a parent could do probably is really, is, like, really restrict their kid to not do many things. It allows a lot of room for curiosity, and most likely they're going to end up doing the most things, even worse than what they'd imagine, like what they'd imagine for their kids. So, yeah. like, you know, like you think about it for a little kid, if you tell a little kid, don't jump on the bed, what are they going to want to do? They're going to want to dump the living crap out of that bed, like I'm telling <laughs> you. So, yeah. um, I think for me growing up, like, you know, I was blessed enough to have like a mom that was, you know, allowed me to do a lot of things, you know, if I wanted to go out, like she wasn't like, no, you can't go out. Like, there were rules and there were things that like were set just for like general standard. You can't have you can't have the will to do whatever you want because unfortunately you can't do that in life. You can't just go to the shops and take a chocolate bar. You can't do things. There's certain things in life that you can't just do willingly. So um, yeah, I think yeah, a strict a strict household is really. I've had I've got a lot of my friends that like come from strict households, and like a lot of them are just so like I don't know. They have a lot of built up anger towards like their family. They're like, oh man, I wish I could do this and. You know, I've seen the effect of, you know, a restricted household and, you know, it's like, damn, like sometimes I feel, you know, really blessed in the situation that I, I grew up in. So, um, but yeah, like there's not, there's nothing wrong with, you know, telling your kid what, what you don't prefer them to do. Like if you don't prefer them to smoke, you know, obviously everyone's in like, majority of people are going to be like telling your kid don't smoke. And, you know, it's just about letting your kid learn from like, yeah, like what you said before, learning from the fails, learning from, you know, making mistakes because, I yeah. think you know we can hear people's stories, but it isn't until like you you stuff up yourself, you really go far. Now I know what you mean, <laughs> and it's like yeah, you kind of have to make that mistake yourself to really understand what like your parents warn you. Yeah, yeah. Right, you had it easy, man. Right, you know I came from a straight African household out here, man. I can tell you, I am very harsh, very harsh. Clean the toilet first before you sweep the floor. They do what I want them to do, and immediately. <laughs> you know how we're doing it. <laughs> no, no. On the real butt, I'd probably say, like, it's in the middle, as you guys, as you've all said. But I'd probably say, like, I'm not going to lie, like... You're going to be a strict parent, yeah? No, nah, no. Nah. Yo, for sure. I'm I'm down. I'm down to be the bad cop if my girl, like, my wife's going to be the good cop. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm fine to take that sacrifice. But I, I wouldn't mind, like, for example, like, telling my kids, hey, you can't have this. Because at the end of the day, like, there's a certain age, and maybe until like they get to their teenage years, and then you can give them a bit more free freedom and stuff. But I feel like early in the parent, like early on in the year, the kids don't know what they want. They're just gonna run around, you know. And for example, yeah. like in the area where I live, it's not an area where you can just run around two downstairs to two a.m. You know what I mean? The stuff that will happen to you, like you will, you know, you can't be a kid hanging out downstairs, running around by yourself because you know there's a lot of individuals that are not to the, you know, they don't meet the standards of society that live in in the areas. It certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> a, a fucking crackhead ran this way. <laughs> and, then, and then another one jumped out a tree and shit. <laughs> so, for example, like growing up, I had like, my parents would be like, hey, don't go here. Or like, for example, only be with your brother at this time, you know? And I'm, in my head, I'm saying, no, I want to go by myself, like as a kid. But I'm like, and why am I, I'm like, why are my parents doing, like, being mean to me? And then as you get older, you're like, oh, true. You know what yeah. I mean? So when you see a junkie running down the you know, street and stuff, like I remember the one time, this is probably like one of the crazy experiences. I went, I had to go to my auntie's house upstairs and I went in the elevator. When I went down to the elevator, I went down to G floor. I'm 10 years old. There was a guy drenched in blood from head to toe. He's cut open. He's, he's, he's junk. It was a junk guy. Head to toe. <laughs> I'm 10 years old. I'm not lying to you. I'm not like, the, it went from ground floor and I had to go to pretty much the top floor. My auntie lived at like the 19th floor then. And this guy was getting off, this guy was getting off somewhere in like the 17th floor. So from <laughs> ground floor to 17th floor, I was screaming. <laughs> it's gonna be something, JR. This Sunday, you got a preview right there of what Stone Cold. And he's like, ah, I'm just screaming. The guy said me Wait, screaming. like physically or internally? <laughs> No, no, literally, like, I'm screaming out loud. I'm saying, ah, you know, I'm a kid, you're ready to see me. I'm going bleeding. And then I'm like, yo, I, I went up to 19, and then the guy left the thing, and he's like, you're just swearing at me. He's like, shut up, shut up, you know, he's like, and then, he's, and then I'm like, 
I went up, I went home, I was tripping out. And my mom just had traumatized. Me. I was traumatized, yeah. heavy. But like, you know what I mean? Like, and then I'm like, oh, okay. And from that day, I didn't hesitate to go with my brother until I was like, maybe like 12. I still high school, but like, I understood why I had to go with my brother. <laughs> Something I hated like growing up is my mom saying no to everything I wanted to do and not giving like proper reason as to why yeah that's exactly no. what i was going and to that's like yeah and that's like pretty much most african kids um most cultured kids to be honest but i feel like i wouldn't do that to my kids i would explain to them why not and why they can do certain things yeah like that's yeah. what i'd rather do than just be like no just because yeah because the thing is like your parents have more life experiences so yeah. I, like, I understand that bit but i feel like one of the most toxic traits about like uh, like african parents like from my experience is they don't explain like why you can't do it do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and so it's like as i go on it's like let's say you're like 18 and like you're supposed to know what you want with your life it's like how, how are you meant to do that because like you've been told what to do for like so long exactly. so it's like you're like misguided that, basically in defense to that i'd probably add i'd probably say it's, if you think about it like african parents be doing like the mothers be doing the most at home if you think about it they're managing like four siblings yeah they're cooking like the moms are cooking they're cleaning they're going off to doing laundry because the dads at work you know like that that's how it is for most i'd say first generation africans that are trying to build an income so I feel like even my mom, like I'd say something, my mom's looking after my little sister. She's a, my little brother is a baby at the time and I'm a kid. I'm saying, yeah. why am I this? But she doesn't have time to explain because she's got like hundred yeah. things. I yeah, feel yeah. like I could say that's why they say no. I, that I'd probably add to that. That's why they like Yeah, no. I agree. That is the reason why. But we grew up in a different um, society where we know different. We know to how to explain to a kid why not and why yes. So we can, we learn to, to think better ahead. I'm not saying they did wrong. I'm saying they did their best, but Cause our best like, is going to be different. Yeah. Cause like Australian's definition of that is really neglect. <laughs> Your parents are like neg neglecting you basically. Um, yeah. But yeah, you do get to understand like, Hey, like this person has a lot on their minds and like, you know, so it is what it is really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we grew up to be fine. Like, there's nothing yeah. wrong with us. It's just, as a kid, you're just constantly curious, like, why not? And you get frustrated. So yeah. I feel like we can make a difference yeah. in the future. And I feel like sometimes when you have, like, super strict parents, like, they never stop being strict. Like, unless you, like, try to, you know, cut it and, like, n um, rebel against it. Yeah. Like, which means a yeah. lot of fights. Like, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I don't, yeah. Sorry, you can oh, I, like, I don't know if you guys found it like with your parents, but I don't know, like with mine, they're strict, but as like the eldest to the youngest goes, like they've become less strict. I don't know. They're like how, even, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know if it's happened to you guys. Like, have you been treated differently by your oh, parents? 100%. Like in terms of your status, like, in your age and or it's not gender, just age, it's also gender. Gender as well, yeah. I was gonna say that. Like, I know for me, like my older sister tells me all the time, bro. Like, I always got so much shit. You guys get it so easy, and then I'm like, no, I get it so hard. Like, there's definitely things that like my parents don't let me do, but like my sister's like, no, you're being a crybaby. Like, yeah, he's had it so much harder. I feel like it's a generational thing. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, the, 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 more kids, the more kids your parents have, the like, because you you were like their first, they're more prone to be like super protective. And they start yeah. giving up, like yeah. they get to like the fourth kid or third, they're like, oh yeah, just don't worry about it. Like I'll let you go. Yeah, at I least like for me. They're me. trying to build the best kid for the first. So you just <laughs> it's trying to build, build mold the best kid. So be a strict whatever, mold them up so that they can be. You know what I mean? They, they tell the others. Help, to do. Like an role model. Hold the yeah. others in line. That's what yeah. I 
like for me i had to like fight nearly every like to have a little bit of freedom i had to fight <laughs> my younger sister she can go out clubbing like without having to answer anything i'm like damn like <laughs> you know you didn't even have to fight for anything mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think that's why they always the younger siblings. They always get it. They always just, they always get more freedom and they get away with it because they're like the baby of the family. Yeah. 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 Definitely.